six seconds to play. All right, guys. Last play of the game. Not only was it the last play, what happened next was one of the greatest finishes in Super Bowl history. The Rams ended up winning the Super Bowl as the Titans came up one yard short from sending the game into overtime. And that's where I come in. I'm gonna try to avenge the loss the Titans took versus the Rams, and I created Steve McNair along with a few other Titans players like Eddie George, a 90 overall. I got these ratings from past Madden rosters pretty much when these guys were in their prime, and I put them in the game. Right here, you're seeing Javon Curse. I couldn't find his number, so we just had to improvise and go with. And here you have his ratings, man. He was called the freak for a reason. And the last but not least, I was going to go Kevin Dyson, but then I was like, no, why not go with the guy that was actually the best wide receiver on the team, Derek Mason, two-time pro bowler. And just to make it even, I added some players in from the Rams as well. We have Kurt Warner at quarterback. And yeah, his stats are absolutely freaking insane, man. I made him as good as possible. So this game could be an entertaining one. We also have Marshall Falk, one of the most underrated running backs of oh. all time, in my opinion. I don't know why people don't talk about him more because he deserves all the accolades. And then we also couldn't forget about Isaac Bruce and Torrey Holt. Probably one of the best wide receiver duels in NFL history, man. They were part of the greatest show on turf for a reason. And we couldn't forget about the big boy. Orlando Pace, left tackle, Hall of Famer. 98 overall, man. This is going to be an epic battle. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Please be sure to like the video if you do. Because this took me a long time. So here we go, man. I put it on all Madden. Just so you guys know I'm not doing anything suspect. Both teams are on all Madden. And it's going to be a good one. Let's get it, man. We're on offense to start this game. Need Steve McNair to put together an amazing drive. Oh, he just gets rid of it. Oh, my goodness. I forgot about how good the Rams D-line is. Blocking those beasts like Aaron Donald is going to be a problem. But hopefully, we can combat it with our amazing run game. No. Here we go, man. Huge third down early in this game. Somebody please be open. Yes, Eddie George with the first down. Second and eight. Time to pound the rock to the left side. Running the counter play. Look at these blocks. Beautiful blocks. Let's go, Eddie. Somebody make a play. Yes, we have him across the middle. I think he might have been one yard short. Call the timeout. I thought about it. Why not go for it right up the gut? Eddie George. Let's go, man. Let's go, Eddie. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. We need Derek Mason to get open on this out route. I'm looking for you, Derek Mason. Nice tiptoe catch. Nobody's open. Okay, never mind. We have some wide open. Derek Mason. Beautiful play. Third and goal because you already know my red zone offense is trash. But we got Eddie George. Oh, we overthrew him. I'll be honest. I don't think three points is going to be enough. This is the greatest show on turf we're going up against. We cannot be only getting field goals. We need touchdown. Well, right now, we need to stop, man. Second and one. He's running some play action. And we got the interception. Let's go, baby. This drive right here is crucial. So we need to at least get in the field goal range. If we don't get it on third down, I'm going for it on fourth. That's just the way it is, man. Circle, please be great with Shard Matthews. Okay, we'll take it. All I need is four yards. Who's going to come up clutch for me? Please, somebody make a play. We're going back to Eddie George. He can't be caught down the sideline. Get off of him. Sweeping to the right side, Eddie George carrying the team on his back. And he's going to go in for the first touchdown of the game. Back on defense. If we make one more good stop, I think we're going to have a good chance of winning this game. Third and two, it's a good thing we got the lead because they can't really rely on the run game as much as they would like to. And, you know, that's a good thing for us because Marshall Falk is a tank. And he's very hard to stop. I think we might have held him to a fourth down. And they're actually going to punt the ball. This might be a fake. No. Another W for the defense. Here we go, man. Running some play action. Oh, we have circle wide open. Beautiful pass. He drops it. Come on, man. That was right on the money. Third and 10. If we can somehow get this first down, that would be huge. That would be absolutely huge. They don't want to call timeout, man. Clock is winding down. And they're actually going to hike it? Are you serious? Wow, just not the smartest decision right there. And we're going into the half with a 10-point lead. I honestly can't believe they didn't take the points right there, man. This is all Madden. They're supposed to be able to make good decisions. Run it. As we get another interception. That's how you want to start the second half, man. Things are looking good right now. Running some curl flats on this play. Hopefully, I make the right read. Let's be honest, though. That's probably not going to happen. Okay, triangle's wide open. Just give it the ball to him and let him make a play inside the five-yard line. I don't know why they don't have Eddie George in the game. So, we're just going to have to rely on Steve McNair. I have a feeling he's going to get it done. Oh, the play actually didn't work. I'll be honest. I'm a little bit nervous, man. 13 points is nothing when you're playing against the greatest show on turf. They can easily strike fast. I mean, look at this right over my head. Luckily, we got the deflection. Fourth and two. If they don't get this, then we might just get the W, man. Can we get the stop? 
Oh, he went to the fake toss. And we got the fumble. Marshall Falk, sit your ass down. Oh, look at this beautiful toss. Eddie. Oh. Eddie George with the spin move. Oh, Eddie George putting the icing on the cake. Let's freaking go. You cannot stop him. Sending some heat on second and two. We just need one guy to make a play. And that's going to be the first points on the board for the Rams. It was just a matter of time. A few more first downs to basically seal this victory up. And who else to go to but Eddie George? Oh, my God. This is way too easy, man. Eddie George is a problem. Here they go on another onside kick. Can we recover this one just like the first one? Yes, we can. So if we don't get this, they still have a timeout and they can somehow stop the clock, score a touchdown, kick the onsides, and somehow come back. Oh, damn it, man. We got hit as we threw it. And just as I suspected, man, the game is still not over. Then again, they're on a six yard line with only one timeout and down two possessions. Yeah, let's just say it's not looking good. It's not looking good for them, at least. Oh, wow. Nice dot right there. Holy crap. They are in Hail Mary desperation mode. As long as we don't allow any miracles to happen, we'll be good. Didn't really see too much from Tory Holt or Isaac Bruce in this game or Marshall Falk for that matter man Kurt Warner just kept on turning the ball over and we're gonna come away with a victory in a Super Bowl as we get the game winning interception and there you have it the Titans avenge their loss in the Super Bowl versus the Rams hopefully you guys enjoy this video drop down in the comment section the next Super Bowl you want me to try to recreate for the losing team thanks for watching as usual and as for me gotta run when I get a bird call Damn. I've been that thing in Merkov, swerve off.